Hey everyone, welcome to another Solid Shell security video. So what we are doing is we are talking about um, doing automated MySQL backups um, to a wiki that we have set up locally on a, a developer machine. Uh, we're going to do a quick walkthrough on using PowerShell and the task system just so you can understand how to create um, automated tasks. Okay, so what we went ahead and did is we coded this PowerShell script. It's a lot like Bash for Linux, but in Windows they have PowerShell. So what we did is we were getting the date and we're creating like a, a backup file with the SQL path and everything. We're also doing a, a MySQL dump, passing the username, password, the database, and pushing it all out. Now, um, what you do is when you load the file is you can click run and go ahead and run the script and it's going to run through it. Um, as you can tell, it did. Um, it does say that you know using a password on the command line is not the most secure way, but you can ignore that. But it, it does toss out some warnings. Uh, if we scroll up here when we we're messing around, uh, we had a few little inconsistencies on the code. So it, it it does explain a lot and does help you with some debugging. Uh, one of the things I will bring to mention when working with this is you need to ensure that you set the execution policy to remote signed if you wish to launch and run any type of script. If you don't, it is in fact going to complain. Um, as you can see at the top we tried to run it real quickly. Actually it's not showing it there, but um, if you do not have it, it will not run the script. So you have to inset the uh, remote signing. In fact, I think it was here when we tried to first run it. Yeah, here we go. Uh, if you do not set the remote signing, it will not execute any scripts. It's basically a security precaution um, it, with the signing of scripts with certificates, I believe, is what's going on here. Uh, there's a lot of different signing settings, but um, you can pretty much just safely set that to remote signed. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So that's the quick run, uh, run through with uh, PowerShell. Um, so what we did is we just have the uh, script seen on the desktop. Uh, you can, in fact, you know, do run, but what we did is we put in as a um, task. Uh, real quickly, when you do a create task, it will basically take you through with um, the naming of everything. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, but with this task, the one thing you want to do when you, in fact, set this up, I can find here we go, is you want to make sure you include the, the PowerShell script right here. This is what you want to have under the program script is the location to PowerShell. And then with the arguments, this is where you're going to pass in your script. So with that set, you know, we can now run this. It's going to run and there we go. So it ran. And as you can tell, we do have the, the MySQL backups safe and sound under the WAMP directory. So this right here is just a quick run through on how easy it is to basically set up a a backup system. Now you can have fun with this one and create a ton of different PowerShell scripts and put them into the tasks and have a lot of automation. There's a lot of power involved uh, with PowerShell coming in with Windows 7, Windows 8, and even with the, the server editions of 2008 and uh, 12. So it's definitely something you might want to look into if you do a lot of Windows administration. It can really help with keeping your task load down and keeping you productive without being stressed out. So definitely give it a look. Um, it is installed by default, as far as I know it is. Uh, version 1 is, in, is installed by default. Uh, they do have version 3 out right now if you wanted to go out and download that, but I believe it might only be for Windows 8. Uh, you'd have to look into that, but there is in fact a version 3 out now. Um, you do actually have a lot of um, a lot of control with it. Uh, you will need to make sure you run this as administrator. Um, if you do not run it as administrator, you will have uh, some issues with some of your scripts, depending on what you're trying to access and what you're trying to do. So definitely ensure you run as administrator and set the permissions correctly on your tasks as well to ensure that everything runs correctly and make sure you run and do a test. Definitely make sure you do a test so once so you know everything's running. So that is your walkthrough with PowerShell. Um, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and thanks for watching.